Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have seen about electronic data interchange that is EDI, right? And in this session we are going to see about the types of EDI, okay? Let's see the types in electronic data interchange, okay? The types of this EDI were constructed based on how this EDI communication connections are and the conversations are organized, right? The types of this EDI are based only on the communication connections and the conversions in this uh, EDI system, right? Thus, this, uh, uh, this is based on the medium used for transmitting this EDI documents are uh, are these okay direct edi edi via van edi via ftp bar vpn sftp ftps web edi mobile edi right let's see direct edi in detail first right this direct edi is also known as point to point edi right this direct edi we will say it is point to point also, right? This establishes a direct connection. From the name itself, we know it is direct EDI, right? So, this establishes the direct connection between uh, many uh, business stakeholders and uh, partners uh, individually and all, right? This type of EDI suits to larger business with a lot of day-to-day -day business transactions right here day-to-day -day business transactions is done since this connects the partners individually right the next one is edi via van that is van that is value added networks okay edi via value added networks here only this edi documents are transferred with the support of third party network service providers right these EDA documents are transferred from one end to other end right this is done with the support of the third party network service providers only right many business uh, prefer this network model to protect them from updating the ongoing complexities of the network if you see this diagram here we'll have uh, the sending side and the receiving side right sending company will be there and the receiving company is there here if you see the data in internal format is there in the sending uh, company right they prepare the documents which has to be sent right and then the edi translator will translate the documents into the edi form and then the edi data is ready right and then the communication software is connected with edi network service provider right this edi network is used to communicate right here direct or point to point communication is done right then the then it will connect and transmit your documents to your business partner right there also communication software will be there and it will be sent to it will be sent as a edi data and the edi translator will uh, uh, translate the data and the data in internal format itself the receiving company will get the data right this process is done here in this edi through value added network right this value added network is a company okay this is based on its own network this offers the edi services to other businesses also right here a value added network will act as a immediate uh, immediately that means it will be acting the uh, instant connection between the trading partners and all right the principal operations the main operations of this value added networks are the allocation of access rights and providing high data security right here in this uh, edi via van that is value added network we saw that uh, this is supported by the third party network service provider and uh, many business is preferring this network model only to connect with the other parties right and the next one is edi via ftp or vpn and yes ftp ftps right when protocols like uh, ftp vpn or um, yes ftp and ftps these are used for exchange of edi based documents through the internet or intranet we'll say it is uh, edi via ftp or vpn uh, 
SFTP, FTPS and all. Right? When this EDI transfer, this is done, this exchange, the document of this EDI based documents are uh, transferred using this uh, protocols like FTP or VPN, SFTP and FTPS. Uh, through internet we'll say in through internet or maybe through intranet also we'll say this uh, as EDI via FTP or VPN SFTP FTPS right the next one is web EDI web based EDI means this contacts the EDI using a web browser through online right here the business are allowed to use any browser to transfer the data to their business partners that means here the this businessman or this business uh, partners or the company can use any data to transfer that means uh, they can use any browser to uh, transfer their data online right this web based edi is easy and convenient for small organizations also or maybe for uh, medium organizations also right web based that means we know it is done online and uh, here the business are allowed to use any browser to transfer the uh, data right this is done online since uh, here any browser can be used this is the easy and convenient way for uh, small and medium organizations also right next one is mobile edi that is a last type in this edi mobile edi when the smartphones or uh, some other uh, handheld devices are used to transfer the edi documents we'll say it is mobile edi right this mobile edi applications uh, are so good and uh, uh, they are increasing day by day right the increase the speed of EDI transaction right this mobile EDI mobile we all know we all use smartphones right since the smartphones are in our hand our works are being easy right so here this EDI transaction or uh, uh, speed is also increased when using this mobile EDI application right here uh, this uh, smartphones or any other handheld device are used in EDI uh, document transfer means we will say that is mobile EDI right so we have seen the types of EDI right what are the types direct EDI that means point to point next one is EDI via VAN that is value added networks and next one is EDI via any protocols like FTP or VPN uh, SFTP FTPS next one is web EDI that is web based done online next one is mobile EDI mobile EDI means smartphones or any other handheld devices uh, is used to transfer the EDI document means it is mobile EDI right next we are going to see about the advantages of EDI right EDI was developed to solve the problems inherent in paper based transactions processing and all right in other forms when you see uh, electronic in other electronic uh, communication center right edi this means what electronic data interchange right this uh, is the solution for all the problems which is faced when paper transaction or uh, some other electronic forms of transaction is done right implementing this edi system will provide a company with a greater control over the supply chain and it will uh, allow the trading more efficiently right it is more effective because this is done online right it also increases the productivity and promotes the operational efficiency that means here the time taken to transfer the EDI document is uh, just it is sent as an instant one right when you are sending it from this system and in the server side there will be in the receiving end there will be uh, getting it at that moment itself right so the time and the paper uh, works and all are not needed right they are having the um, format standard format so that work is also easy right so it increases the productivity and promotes the operational efficiency right let's see the advantages of this edi okay this improving service to end users that means whoever is at the other end the services are improved for them also right increasing productivity we have more time we can uh, give our products and our EDI document uh, at once right so the productivity will increase we have more time and we will uh, 
the will reach the people or will reach the receiver so fast so the time uh, is consumed uh, is very less and will be able to produce more right minimum errors since this is done online or this is done through computer uh, human when we do sometimes we may uh, do some errors when we are filling some address we may uh, change some numbers and all since this is computerized the errors are minimum right slashing response times response time is also um, since this is online at once when someone is having a query will be answering the query at once right automation of operations all the operations can be automatic since this is edi documents right a cutting cost since this is done online it is free of cost right we just need internet service right integrating all business and trading partners we can uh, just get connected with all the business and trading partners since we are connecting uh, electronically right providing information on process status and all since uh, if this is done manually we cannot send uh, this receiver cannot see the status and all right since this is done electronically we can provide all the information and the processing status and all even to the sender and also to the receiver right that means the seller and the customer will have um, can see the status of the product right till it reaches the receiver optimizing financial ratios It's financial ratios also we can calculate since this is done electronically right these are the advantages of edi right improving service to end users increasing productivity minimizing errors slashing response time automation of operations cutting cost integrating all business and trading partners providing information on process status optimizing financial ratios right next we are going to see about the layers in edi okay here electronic data interchange architecture specifies four different layers right first one is semantic layer right semantic layer and the next one is standard translation layer and the next one is transport layer and the next one is physical layer okay semantic layer standard translation layer transport layer physical layer right here semantic layer what is edi semantic layer that is the application level service okay and the next one is edi standard transaction layer here edi fact business form has some standards right or ansi x12 uh, this ansi into 12 that means this is a business form standard right business form standard of edi fact and also ansi right these comes under edi standard translation layer right and the next one is edi transport layer that is electronic mail point to point world wide web electronic mail means x435 or mime point to point means ftp telnet world wide web is http right and the next one is physical layer physical layer is a dial up line or internet it is one way right so these are the layers in edi okay electronic data interchange has uh, interchange architecture this edi architecture specifies four different layers semantic layer standard translation layer transport layer and physical layer right are you clear so today we have seen about edi layer advantages of edi and types of edi right the next session we'll see about the edi components okay the edi components are standard document format translator and mapper uh, communication software communication networks this about this uh, edi components and all we'll see in the next session okay so today we have seen about edi layers advantages of edi and edi types right make sure you read this and we have covered only a small portion today so you will be able to read it and study this portion today itself right what are the types of edi direct edi edi through wan that is value added network edi through protocols that is ftp bar vpn sftp ftps right and the next one is web based that is internet based 
EDI and the next one is mobile EDI, right? And then we have seen the advantages of EDI. What are the advantages? Improving service to end users, increasing productivity, minimizing the errors, slashing response time, automation of operations, cutting cost, integrating all business and trading partners, providing information on process status, optimizing financial ratios, right? So learn these types of EDI advantages and the layers of EDI today itself, right? We'll see the EDI components in the next session. Okay, thank you for your valuable time. Stay home, stay safe, take care, bye.